Okay, for 5.1 functions, so the learning outcomes for today, sketch the graph of, of a function, and second one, state the domain of range of the function for set function. A set function, which is a linear function, is in the form of square root of fx equals to square root of ax plus b where a and b are constants okay for fx to be defined so everything uh, in ax plus b must be positive which is always positive ax plus b greater or equal than 0. There is, so you get x greater or equal than negative b over a. Therefore, the domain of the function becomes x greater or equal negative b over a. When you try to solve uh, ax plus b, actually you are solving inequality for the domain. Uh, of the set function because the set cannot uh, cannot be negative inside the set the graph of the set function is as shown below so for set function the graph exists only for x greater or equal than 0 for the basic graph so this is the basic graph for fx set x this is a basic graph so whatever inside here x must see greater or equal than zero so the basic graph the shape of the graph is like this so uh, start with x zero and to infinity and the graph the, sh the shape become like this the shape of the graph okay so the domain here is starting here the domain starting here domain f and the range start here to infinity so this is already the domain okay for the next one fx equals to negative set x actually negative mean is a reflect uh, at x axis and then the domain still the same the domain still the same x greater equal than zero but negative mean when x is positive the y always negative so the domain stay here the domain stay here but the range uh, getting less or equal than zero okay for the third graph uh, fx equals to set negative x or set negative x uh, the graph exists only for negative x here. Negative x greater, always greater, equal than 0. Say. So, after we solve it, x less equal than 0. Actually, this is the domain of the function. And that's why the graph starting 0 and to the left at zero and to the left for the domain but but for the range we start from y zero so this is the domain right for d let's say fx equals to negative set negative x so the domain still x less equal to 0, but when we have a negative, meaning the graph is 
translate to the x-axis by uh, from this graph so you get uh, the shape of this graph and then this is the domain domain starting here at zero and your range start here to infinity y zero to infinity okay for general for a set function so everything inside Vx plus C must always greater or equal than 0. So this part, you are going to find the domain. And then for A, let's say A is positive. So the shape of the set function is like this. And when A is negative, so the set function is like this. And plus k, so k is to find the range of the f. Okay, now we try to sketch the set function. Let's say we have fx equals to set x and plus 1. Okay, this is the original of function, the original of set function. So we take x inside the set, always, always positive. So this is actually your domain. So the domain you can write here. Right? So, uh, so your domain start here. Start here. And here, your domain. So, when x0, y0, and then plus 1, this is the original one, y equals to set x. So, when plus 1, meaning the, the, same, the, the original graph shift one unit up from here. So, what you get is, you will get this graph. After that, we can find the domain. The domain is the, the original x squared equal to 0 or we can write like this. Include 0 infinity. And for the range, we start with y1. This is our range rf. So we start from 1 to infinity or we can write y greater equal than 1. Okay, the next example. fx equals to set 3x plus 2. So, as usual, we take out 3x to find the domain. So, 3x defined when greater equal than 0. You solve it, you get x greater equal than zero so actually your graph starting here this is your domain and then plus two meaning your graph is shift two units from the origin so this is your fx equals to set three x and one plus two meaning shift two units up all right so this is your graph. Okay, once again, this is your graph. So the domain, just copy from here, or you can write include zero infinity. How about the range? The range we start from here up. So this is your range. So y greater or equal than 2, or we can write include 2, infinity. Okay, let's move to another uh, function. fx equals to set 5x minus 5. So first, take out inside the set 5x minus 5, greater equal than 0, always. 
and you try to solve it, you get x greater or equal than 1. What does that mean? This means that your graph starts from 1 here. Yeah. So your, your graph start the domain from here. Domain from 1 and on your right side. So this is your domain 1. X squared equal to 1. Okay. When x1 actually you start with y0. Y0 after that. And the shape of the graph because a is greater than 0. So the graph is like this. Okay. So from there. We know that the domain start y0 and above. So x for the domain include 1, infinity, and range you get y greater or equal than 0, which is include 0, comma, infinity. Okay, we have fx equals to negative set 1 minus x. Okay, 1 minus x is greater or equal than 0. Take out this one. And then you solve, you get x less or equal than 1. Actually, x less or equal, is le x less or equal than 1 actually is the domain. So, how to sketch this graph? So, this is 1. And then we know that a is less than zero, so, so we have a the shape. All right, when x is one, you get y zero. So the graph starting here, right? The graph starting here, and then the domain. So the domain x less equal than one. So we start negative infinity 1 close how about the range the range is y less equal than 0 which is negative infinity 0 close right, uh, try these exercises a b and c 